Peacock 45 here with a 12 gauge. You know it's a good day for me, right? Good old corn cob pump 12 gauge. We're gonna shoot a couple of uh, shotguns here. This is, believe it or not, it's gonna be a short video. Yeah, I'm not used to that, are you? Okay, the recent shorts, YouTube shorts video that John and I put up, just out here messing around as we do often. Uh, I just took my shotgun and shot a couple of times at targets, uh, kind of fast, just messing around. And a lot of people seemed to think I was uh, slam firing that shotgun. And I've answered some people about it and everything, and I don't know, it was a Mossberg 590 A1. It doesn't have the slam fire feature. Okay, for those who don't know, slam fire is when you can hold the trigger down, fire and hold the, keep the, your, the trigger depressed, I'm trying to say, and then work the slide. And when the slide uh, returns, it will fire as long as you keep the trigger pulled. So you're basically pulling the trigger, <laughs> as I like to say, you're firing it with the slide as it moves back into action. Bam, bam, bam. And most of you know that. That's why you made those comments, okay? You don't have to release and pull the trigger each time. Well, the reason I thought we'd do uh, just a brief video on this is I think a lot of uh, new shooters, uh, people who have not really fired shotguns at all maybe and whatever, and maybe some experienced shooters, I don't know, have it in their heads, this is my impression, that a shotgun that has slam fire feature is it's like having full auto versus semi-auto or something. It's like, wow, makes it so much easier to hit with and to shoot fast and just makes it almost a class three weapon okay uh and i it, it may for some people that may be uh, your impression maybe your exact impression you may be an experienced shooter so i don't want to take away from that either for me though uh it doesn't do that much for me i have three I don't know, 1897, the Model 12, this one, I think I even have another uh, slide action shotgun, maybe pump shotgun that has uh, the slam fire feature with it, which I, I never used, unless maybe we're doing a video and showing what it is. I, I just don't, even if I'm trying to shoot fast, okay? So anyway, with, with a little experience, you can uh, coordinate your trigger and it's just not any different. In fact, I shoot better if I don't use the slam fire because it throws me off. Think about it, you're using the pump handle for your trigger and you're moving it and it's gonna fire as soon as you get out. Yeah, I just don't, it doesn't do anything for me. But I wanted to demonstrate, and maybe I will uh, turn out to be a liar. We're just gonna do a quick little demo. I'm gonna shoot, I've got seven, and I'm gonna to top it off with one more because it, that'll make eight. Hey, brilliant, Kentucky math, huh? And I've got, I'm just gonna pick out these four targets, the cowboy, the tombstone, and these two bigger ones here close. And I'm just gonna go from target to target as if they're about to kill me for lack of shooting back, okay? And I'm just gonna see what I can do using the slam fire feature, okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna fake it or ham it up or try to do badly or better than I should or anything like that. We'll just see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna put one in, rack one in. This has got like the uh, 870 action, safety on. Okay, we've got one in. I'll put another one in. I think that gives me eight. So I could I could make the rounds and hit each one twice or shoot at each one twice. So I guess the first shot is just going to be pull the trigger, right? Okay, now I'm going to try to remember to keep the trigger down. And then I'm going to shoot them all. All right. Have a little fun. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's start with the cowboy. All right. Safety's off. All right, I got to get in my head. I'm going to shoot eight times here and I'm going to hold the trigger down. So since again, since I don't do this very often, I have to think about it. All right, let's go from target to target. <laughs> let's go back now. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't do so well. Oh, and uh, that was not intentional. I'm sorry. Woo. Okay, now we're going to try the Mossberg. This is a shotgun. <laughs> I really expected to do better than that. Uh, this is uh, my Mossberg that I used in that video uh, in question. It doesn't have slam fire feature. I can't use that if I want to. So this is why I would rather... I've got eight in here, I think. There's not one in the chamber. But there will be. So... Uh, so if I need to dispatch those four desperados or terrorists or whatever they are, I'll just rack one in and uh, and 
pop them all. For me, that's easier, okay? And you can tell, uh, and part of this may take away from some of the uh, validity is the fact that I don't I don't use the slam fire feature. Let's see, we got another one. No, we're empty. All right. So now let's do just one one target. Let's see if I can hit anything with one target. See if I can do better than that. Wow, that was pathetic, wasn't it? That was pathetic. <laughs> but that's what happens to me. It starts jumping around on me, and I, I just don't like it. And uh, in fairness, I will say this uh, Ithaca Deer Slayer, Deer Slayer Police Special. It's a neat old classic shotgun. It's uh, a little bit lighter than that Mossberg, so that makes it a little harder, a little bit, you know, anyway. So, we'll try it with this baby. Okay, we got seven in there. Let's go ahead, we don't have anything in the chamber and load this while we're, while we're doing it. So we'll be ready on it. Okay, so, get the ammo up here. So yeah, so slam fire versus trigger fire. <laughs> you know, I just prefer to use a trigger. Imagine that. I feel like I have more control. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you're again, you're using that pump handle for your trigger, and I, to me, that just doesn't doesn't, doesn't help me. Uh, it, it may be uh, I don't know, just may be an issue of preference, uh, experience. Whether you're an experienced shooter or not, and then also whether you're an experienced uh, slam fire shooter. My cat keeps looking at me like because I'm thinks I'm talking about him. Y'all know slam fire, don't you? All right, which one should I do first? Oh, well, let's just do this again. Okay, I'm gonna get out here where I can. Let's just wear out the cowboy. Okay. Okay. Let's say that cowboy is really tough. He just keeps coming at me. He's a bad, bad dude. So, that was an empty. All right, so I'm gonna put my finger on the trigger and uh, try to, I think I have seven here. So. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I get out of rhythm, that's the best I can do. It's just awkward. It's just awkward for me, I don't have to say. Let me try my Mossberg. Ah, I have a bad taste in my mouth after that thing. Okay, makes me not like that shotgun, and I like it. All right, see if we can do a little better. Mr. Cowboy. I might have an extra round here. <laughs> okay. That's that. So anyway, that's what slam fire is all about, if you didn't know. And uh, it's about looking like a dork when you're trying to do it, uh, when you don't really practice it or do it much. Uh, and again, I, in all fairness, I would probably be better if I practiced it, but I really have no desire to. Uh, so, so you can see why I have the opinion I have. Slam fire is definitely not better. It's worse for me. It's much worse, okay? Give me a good trigger. That's all I want. I don't want to use this thing right here for a trigger. That's just my preference. <laughs> Hope that helps. Life is good. Oh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastall. They're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.